Good evening. I'm Thomas Kibben. Tonight we'll be talking about the Elizabeth Inn time period. Please watch us and enjoy. Hi, uh, welcome back. All right, Tosca is number one ancient newscast in the past. Tonight we'll be talking with Sri Lanka, our Asian uh, reporter in the kitchen, about syllabus. So enjoy. I'm Sri Lanka, Asian reporter, and this here today we have Milaka making some famous syllabi. How's it going here today, Sri Lanka? Sri Lanka? It's <laughs> going great. So, what do we have with our syllabi? We're having some duck tonight. As you can see, it's not quite fully cooked, so we have to put that back in. Alright. Syllabum is a very common recipe, and as we can see, this must be a fairly wealthy household, seeing as they have meat. Back in this time period, if you had meat, you're wealthy. Most people couldn't afford much, they ate bread. Go on with your syllabum making, I'll tell them what you're doing. Uh, to make a syllabum, just take a lemon, pare it and slice very thin, then cover the bottom of your syllabum pot with it. Strew in a thick, fine sugar, take sack or white wine, and make a curd with some milk or cream, and lay it on the lemon with a spoon. Then whip some cream and whites of eggs together. Sweeten a little, and cast forth thereof upon your syllabus. When you lay in your curd, you must lay the sugar between every leg. Syllabus is a very common dessert of this era, and as we can see, Now back to you in the newsroom. Oh, hello there. I was just admiring my uh, pipes over here. I have over 10,000, as you can see. I love to smoke them for occasion. But uh, wow, Sri Lanka. Whew. That was some very, very informative reporting there about uh, Shish kebabs, or uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure what that was, but that duck looked fresh. I mean, I, I could pluck its feathers, you know. This is my good side, though. Got the sideburns going. But uh, anyway, <laughs> back to back to the news. We have uh, exclusive coverage of witches doing their dance or spells or I, I don't even know what. Just watch myself. Someone. 
So the witches were an obvious target for that hatred. Um, when people died from this terrible disease, uh, it was often animals that died when there were bad harvests and when houses were burnt down and fires and when the food was ruined, the witches were all blamed. During the Elizabethan era, there, were, uh, there was limited medical knowledge or facilities and there was no form of insurance. So such events as those were described as devastating and there were no means of minimizing their terrible effects on the lives of Elizabethans. Someone had been blamed, so the witches were blamed. Who were the people that accused the Elizabethan witches? Um, women were most often accused of being witches. There were only 270 Elizabethan witch trials, and 247 were women. Uh, that were accused were old, poor, unprotected, single women, or widows. Right back after these commercial breaks. I'll have to go take a smoke break as well, so be right back. Fun dip. Crack for witches. It makes us go crazy. Ah, oh, ouch, Charlie. Charlie bit me. That kind of hurt. Music played an important role in the lives of the people who lived during the Elizabethan era. Elizabethan music was a major was a major form of entertainment. The collection of Elizabethan musical instruments included the musical instruments of the medieval period together with the musical instruments which merged during the Elizabethan era. The introduction of new musical instruments such as the early violin the early oboe, called the hot boy, and the keyboard musical instruments called the spintet. The harp columns from the entrances of many great Elizabethan houses. One of the most impressive houses built during the Elizabethan era, which used the columns and was very magnificent, was the Hardwick Hall of the medieval period together with the musical instruments which merged during the Elizabethan era. The introduction of new musical instruments such as the early violin, the early oboe called the hot boy, and the keyboard musical instruments called the spintent, the harpsichord and the harpsichord and the virginals provided the sound, which produced a much more refined sound than um, Okay. What is your nationality? I am Gloria's in the studio here. And uh, Oprah will be interviewing them. Played an important role in the lives of the people who lived during the Elizabeth Major. Rarely specific 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 instrument should be played upon.